The entirety of the kingdom is in him. The entirety of your life and success is in him. In him who? Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, your God in the earth today. Holy Ghost, your God in the earth today. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this is not your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. I'm called to preach on certain things. Can you hear that? Those words that I'm preaching will take you someplace. Many will be offended by the words that I'm about to say, but many more will be blessed. Say many more, many more. will be blessed. Will be blessed. But these words do something to you Colossians chapter 4 verse 3 with all praying also for us that God would open unto us a door of utterance open up a door do you understand what a door is something you might open up and if you open it up you can then go through it if the door is not opened can you go through it no, so he's saying with all praying right let me read it again with all praying also for us that God would open unto us a door of utterance what is this door therefore made of words, words because he, words that are uttered mm -hmm. he's going to utter some words that will open a door that you can go through mm -hmm. we still here yes that God would open to us a door of utterance verse 4 that I may make it manifest as I ought to speak what's going to be made manifest the door that you can walk through it's a mystery to some but tonight as I speak these words the mystery will no, will no longer be a mystery to you and you'll be able to walk through that door now like I said I'm called to preach on certain things and those words will do something to you and it will enable you to go someplace mm -hmm. that you couldn't go before you've walked through a door so the Holy Ghost he is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words but I've been sent here by God to bring you this message mm -hmm. I am a sent one well well yourself I am a sent one I know who I am I know what God's called me to do a lot of people don't so they flounder around in it deal with it I didn't make this up I didn't sit in my room try to figure out some kind of newfangled thing to come up with I was given this message and I've been given these words from heaven and like Paul I will not be disobedient to the heavenly vision and if you will hear me this evening then the words I say will take you there so the Holy Ghost is God and if you knew him as God you would worship him those words are foreign to a lot of people worship the Holy Ghost they've never heard it before you say it to them they automatically think it's wrong well the Holy Ghost is God and if you don't think he is God then it makes sense that you don't worship him right because if he is God you'd worship him if if your thinking is that he isn't God somehow then you wouldn't worship him that makes sense mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. the number one reason why you might not be worshiping the Holy Ghost is because you think it might offend God Think about that for a second you think that if you worship the Holy Ghost or use the words I worship you Holy Ghost somehow you might offend God is this right yes. if I use the words I worship you Holy Ghost and I'm worshiping the Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost somehow I might offend God then you don't know him as God That's right. get over it that's the fact Jack 
if you're afraid that if you worship the Holy Ghost you're going to offend God then you don't know the Holy Ghost as God because if you knew him as God you would worship him so I would say from years of doing this that's the number one reason people are afraid that they might offend God by worshiping the Holy Ghost which means you don't know him as God okay. <laughs> so you have a religious restriction placed on yourself he didn't place it there he's God he didn't say you couldn't worship him right you're, you're restrained by your own religious thinking so the proof that you don't know him as God is you don't worship him <laughs> and if you don't worship him you can't go to the place say the place, the place. that worship will take you to mm -hmm. does this make sense mm -hmm. because there's a place and that's where I'm gonna be talking about a lot tonight there's a place say a place, a place that worshiping God will take you to and it's a place listen that requires you to worship him before he opens that door to you if you don't worship him you can't come in if you do worship him the door opens and you get to go in mm -hmm. say I get to go in I get to go in if you don't worship him you can't go to the place that worship brings you to a place that I like to call the room of Holy Ghost worship now I've preached on this before many messages on it it's a room that you go into when you begin worshiping the Holy Ghost and you know him as God well I would never worship him as God well you don't know him as God are you here and then when you start to worship him as God you start to know him as God and all of the things are opened up to you that are in that space in that place and in that room there's an entire kingdom in that room there's an entire kingdom in that room that he is Lord over he's God you worship him and in his room say in his room, in his room. it's not my room mm -hmm. I'm not making this up I'm gonna show you by the scriptures this is his room and in that room is an entire kingdom filled with all of his stuff he's Lord over that room I'm telling you right there's an entire kingdom in here in where in this room that I'm in what room the room of worshiping the Holy Ghost as the Living God there's an entire kingdom in this room it's vast it's expansive I know some people might think room and you think you know like a like a closet or something but there's an entire kingdom in this place but you don't know it how do I know you don't know it because you don't worship him most people prefer to spend their time playing around out there with the religious thinking the religious thoughts the religious ideas and don't dare come in here mm -hmm. now Jesus remember him mm -hmm. Jesus talked about the kingdom of God he preached about the kingdom of God he didn't say the kingdom of me did he when he was there he was preaching about the kingdom of God it wasn't his kingdom it was the kingdom of God that he was trying to get people to go into right yes. Luke 4 43 and he said unto them I must preach the kingdom of God to other cities also for therefore am I sent why was Jesus sent to preach the kingdom of God mm -hmm. Jesus preached the kingdom of God and that was why he was sent mm -hmm. to preach the kingdom of God yeah. and he spoke about the Holy Ghost which was to come mm -hmm. John chapter 7 let's look at verse 39 but this spake he of the Spirit which they that believe on him should in the future receive 
for the Holy Ghost was not yet given because Jesus was not yet glorified mm -hmm. so he was preaching about the kingdom of God and he was saying the Holy Ghost was on his way yeah. say the Holy, the Holy Ghost was on his way do you suppose this had anything to do with the kingdom of God that Jesus was preaching all the time? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. The kingdom of God, say of God, God. say of God, God, say of God. God, the kingdom of God, the Holy Ghost. It's the kingdom of the Holy Ghost, the domain of the Holy Ghost. The dispensation of the Holy Ghost that Jesus was preaching about that was to come that wasn't yet because Jesus was not yet glorified and the Holy Ghost was not yet given are you here yes. go to Acts chapter 1 let's read right from verse 1 Acts chapter 1 verse 1 the former treaties have I made O Theophilus of all that Jesus began both to do and teach until the day in which he was taken up after that he through the Holy Ghost had given commandments unto the Apostles whom he had chosen verse 3 to whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs being seen of them 40 days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God say speaking, speaking of, the things of the things pertaining to, pertaining to the, kingdom the kingdom of God Jesus raised from the dead still speaking of things pertaining to the kingdom of God verse 4 and being assembled together with them commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem but wait for the promise say the promise of the father which he saith you have heard of me for John truly baptized with water but you shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days hence what did he call things pertaining to the kingdom of God he said don't go anywhere until this happens mm -hmm. giving commandment about the kingdom of God all right Acts chapter 1 verse 8 but you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you mm -hmm. things pertaining to the kingdom of God the kingdom of who you say the kingdom of the Holy Ghost they had to wait for the domain or the kingdom or the dispensation of the Holy Ghost Jesus was giving commandment concerning the kingdom of God and he commanded them that they not go anywhere until the Holy Ghost came mm -hmm. he commanded them about the kingdom of God he commanded them not to do anything without the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. he commanded them about the kingdom of God he commanded them not to do anything without the Holy Ghost don't do anything without the Holy Ghost he's coming kingdom of God it's his kingdom that you will be operating in mm -hmm. the kingdom of God the kingdom of who the kingdom of the Holy Ghost his dispensation mm -hmm. it's his kingdom you will be operating in it's his kingdom you will be operating by it's his kingdom you will become familiar with and enter into whose kingdom the Holy Ghost his dispensation his kingdom his domain mm -hmm. do you want to get good at walking in the kingdom of God mm -hmm. everybody go oh, yeah that sounds pretty good you want to get good at walking with the king in the kingdom of God then who must you know Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost it's his kingdom everything of the kingdom came with him and is in him mm -hmm. the entirety of the kingdom is in him the entirety of your life and success is in him in him who Holy Ghost 
it's his kingdom there is only one part of the Godhead who is in the earth today active in the earth today one part it's not the father it's not Jesus Jesus will return have I preached on this mm -hmm. so much but people are only hearing this many for the first time because their ears are being opened there's only one part of the Godhead in the earth today and if you're going to walk with God in the earth it is going to be with him people don't like it that plain but that's how it is mm -hmm. say if I am, if I am going, to going to walk with God, with God in, the in the earth today, today. it will be, be with, him, with him the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. That's pretty clear, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Why would that be? It's his kingdom. Mm -hmm. He's God. The kingdom of God. The domain of God. The dispensation of God, the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And he says to you, it is my time. It is my kingdom. It is my dispensation. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 11. But all these worketh that one and self same spirit, dividing to every man severally as he wills. Who's the one? The self same spirit. Mm -hmm. He's the self. He's one. He's the spirit. Mm -hmm. As he wills. it's his kingdom in his kingdom he does as he wills the one and self same spirit he's God he's the spirit he's working all things mm -hmm. if it's anything he's the one who worked it mm -hmm. he who mm -hmm. he the Holy Ghost get that straight it's his kingdom he's the one in the earth if it's done at all by God and it wasn't just you making it up then it was the Holy Ghost doing it because it's his kingdom it's the kingdom of God now in the earth that's where we are we live in the now we're now in the earth he's now in the earth mm -hmm. and he's Lord of that kingdom in the earth you know how many people hate this when I say that second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 16 nevertheless when it shall turn to the Lord the veil shall be taken away what's a veil a veil is something that covers kind of like a door you might say right mm -hmm. in fact you could many times you could just instead of a door you could have a veil hanging over it mm -hmm. and what's it do it blocks you from seeing what what's behind right yeah. but when the veil is taken away you see what's in the room or you see what's behind the veil say I see, I see. What's, behind what's behind the veil, the veil. did you really know what was behind the veil until it was taken away yeah. Sometimes it's a surprise. Mm -hmm. So, nevertheless, when it shall turn to the Lord, the veil shall be taken away. Verse 17. Now the Lord is, veil's taken away, mm -hmm. that spirit. Now, say now. now. Now in the earth, you and I, the Lord is that spirit. Mm -hmm. The Lord of what you say? The Lord of that kingdom all things being done by him as he wills am i making this up or am i just reading black and white mm -hmm. it takes some unveiling to get this using the words i worship you holy ghost will completely remove the veil and you'll be able to see the holy ghost for who he really is the living god in the earth the one with whom you have to do and the one you can walk with as God in the earth in the fullness of his kingdom but you got to walk through that door do you understand you have to go behind that veil if you don't go here behind the veil can you see this if I don't go here behind the veil in verse 16 I can't get to verse 18 which says beholding the Spirit of the Lord are changed into the same image 
from glory to glory I can't go to that next glory without having the veil taken away so it's not available to people who don't go here that's my point if you don't go here behind the veil you can't go where you need to go who's gonna be the ones to do it the ones who've gone behind the veil the ones who see who the Lord is that spirit you can't therefore walk in the kingdom of the Holy Ghost like you should or as effective as you should without going behind this veil it's a new way of life it's a new way of thinking it's a new way of living it's a new way of believing can you testify to this you're trying to brainwash people I'm not trying to brainwash you've already been brainwashed I'm trying to get rid of all of that brainwashing so you can see who the living God really is you've been brainwashed already into thinking something else that's why you get mad at me but regardless of your situation Holy Ghost wanted me to say this to you regardless of your situation I don't care where you are in life these words are your key I worship you Holy Ghost using those words I don't care where you are who you are using those words I worship you Holy Ghost is your key to access so put these words on your lips I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost put these words on your lips I worship you Holy Ghost and the veil will begin to be taken away inside I worship you Holy Ghost on the other side of that veil is the Holy Ghost's kingdom can you see this I hope I'm getting this across and it's a vast unlimited kingdom full of everything that you could need want or desire in fact he says there's nothing I won't do for you if you will worship me hear that there's nothing that I won't do for you if you will worship me there's nothing he won't do for you if you will worship him <laughs> there's an entire kingdom in here I'm telling you I'm testifying to it entering that room changes everything entering that room changes everything it changes the way you think that changes the way you believe and once you've entered into that room your outward life might not at first seem any different but you know something has changed something changes on the inside of you it might not be your feelings or the appearance of things but you know something has changed are you here yes something is definitely different than from before mm -hmm. that's why I preached much of this many times is because I'm preaching from this room and I'm trying to get people to come in here where it's different mm -hmm. I lived out there for years and years and years and I did all of the stuff that everybody else does so I'm not I'm not preaching from a lack of experiencing that but in here things are different you get a new direction you get a new reality I've said it before you get a new Bible I can't tell you how many people write to me and they say I'm seeing things that I've never seen before because you're looking at it from this place who's the teacher the Holy Ghost there's school in this kingdom and people are like I don't want anything to do with that then no you need to go to those classes one of the things that happens to you once you come in here and you one of the things you realize is that you can't go back you can't go back to the old ways it's one of the ways and I you know just in analyzing this is one of the ways you know that you're behind the veil that you can't go back I can't go back to those old worn out ways that are ineffectual but it's huge in here there is a vast 
kingdom of God. It's literally the kingdom of God. It's the kingdom of the Holy Ghost. It's vast. It's unending. Romans chapter 14, let's look at verse 17. For the what? Kingdom. The kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. The kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. The kingdom of God is in the Holy Ghost. Say the kingdom of God, the kingdom of God is, in is in the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. You have a problem with that? No. Where's the kingdom of God? In the Holy Ghost. The kingdom of God, the Holy Ghost. Are you here? But he says, look at this, it goes, For the kingdom uh, of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Ghost righteousness say righteousness, righteousness in the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. what is righteousness let's just quickly do this I have whole other messages on this Romans chapter 10 verse 2 for they being ignorant of God's righteousness right they're ignorant of God's righteousness going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves to the righteousness of God remember the kingdom of God is righteousness in the Holy Ghost Let's see what righteousness is verse 6 but the righteousness which is of faith speaks mm -hmm. on this wise verse 8 but what saith it the word mm -hmm. the righteousness of faith speaks what saith it the word mm -hmm. this is the kingdom of God this is walking in the kingdom of God mm -hmm. speaking the word the kingdom of the Holy Ghost speaking the word all right many more messages on that I don't have time to go into it all now but my life has completely changed by walking in righteousness which means speaking the word in the kingdom of God the Holy Ghost saying speaking, speaking. The, word the word in the kingdom, in the kingdom. Of, the kingdom. of the Holy Ghost where's the kingdom of the Holy Ghost now on this earth first Timothy chapter 6 verse 17 charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches but in the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy mm -hmm. saying these words saying speaking in agreement with these words mm -hmm. has changed my life living God in his kingdom wants you to speak these words living God gives me richly all things to enjoy mm -hmm. say living God, living God gives me, gives me richly, richly all things, all things to, enjoy. to enjoy when you do that that's the righteousness of faith the kingdom of God is in righteousness in the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today mm -hmm. which means that's where his kingdom is he's in the earth and we walk with him by speaking in agreement with his word mm -hmm. that's the righteousness of faith that's the kingdom we are in worshiping God the Holy Ghost using the words I worship you Holy Ghost remember it takes you behind the veil where you can be changed from glory to glory and speaking in agreement with his word which is righteousness mm -hmm. this is being in the kingdom if you do that mm -hmm. if you worship God the Holy Ghost using the words I worship you Holy Ghost and you speak in agreement with his word which is righteousness then you are in this kingdom you are part of his kingdom you are part of this society mm -hmm. just another word for it mm -hmm. this Holy Ghost kingdom this Holy Ghost society 
you're part of it if you're worshiping the Holy Ghost and speaking in agreement with his word say if I worship the Holy Ghost, worship the Holy Ghost and speak in agreement, speak in agreement with his word, with his word I, am I am part of his kingdom, of his kingdom. I, am I am part of his society, of his society. and it's an effectual kingdom Amen. it's an effectual society and he says to you if you will worship me I will do something for you and prove myself strong on your behalf for your words of worship are music to my ears and I know your situation and I shall deliver you from it and set you in a large place for I am here to help you I am here to help you on your way and together we shall go forth and be strong and become great in the earth so continue to use those words I worship you Holy Ghost and continue to speak in agreement with my words and those things shall surely come to pass and come to pass quickly we give you all the glory and praise for it Holy Ghost in Jesus name if you continue to use those words I worship you Holy Ghost he will reveal himself to you and your life will never be the same let me pray for you Holy Ghost I thank you that these people have heard this word and even now they're being changed into a new place into a new reality we thank you for making them part of this kingdom making them part of this society that we can together go forth and be a great people in the earth we thank you for it Holy Ghost in Jesus name amen. amen if you have a tithe or an offering or a tithe and an offering right if you have these things hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I thank you that I walk in your kingdom sowing financial seed and those things shall surely multiply unto me and set me in a wealthy place I worship you Holy Ghost in Jesus name Amen the Father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth